What's up guys, Zach here. And if you guys have been following my channel, you've seen that I've done a water test of every generation of iPhone. And I've also done a fire test between the iPhone 6S and the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. And if you haven't seen those videos, I'll leave a link up above and down below. But today I've got an awesome test that I've never seen anybody else do. And that's a fire test of every generation of iPhone. So I've got a 2G, a 3G, a 3GS, a 4, a 4S, a 5, a 5C, a 5S, a 6, and a 6S. So the only phones I left out were the two plus models and also the iPhone SE, but the iPhone 5S and SE are basically the same phone, same outside shell. So what I'm gonna do here is, is I'm gonna pour a little gasoline and lighter fluid on them, start the timers, and see which one lasts the longest. All right guys, so I already got the gasoline on them. I'm gonna start the timers. Right now, throw a little more on. Put this out real quick. By the way, guys, I am filming this with my iPhone 6S. I usually film on a Canon 70D, but I lost the battery for it, so I decided to use this instead. So let me know down in the comments how the picture quality held up. All right, so none of the, oh my goodness, I was going to say none of the phones survived the test, but have you guys seen this? The iPhone, iPhone 2G at the top, it's still ticking. Oh my goodness, guys, I can't believe this. I would try and touch it, but it's probably extremely hot. None of these other phones are still going, not even the iPhone 6S down here. Wow. iPhone 2G for the win. Wow, so I'm gonna let the, all these phones cool off, guys, and then we'll take a look at them. All right, guys, these phones have cooled down, so let's take a look at them. Here is the iPhone 2G. Wow. iPhone 2G. That's still going. Oh, there's there's no home button. I don't know how I'd get out of this. Wow, so iPhone 2G still works. I could hear the speaker if you guys listen close. Right there. Here is the 3G. Wow. 3G still works, home button still works. You can hear the speaker too. Crazy. Put that one back. Should be the 3GS. Wow, I can't believe these phones survived. This is crazy guys. You guys can see that one. This is the four. Oh, there it goes. The screen is obviously damaged. I didn't hear the speaker. I 
Hmm. Well, that one works. So this would be the 4S. Wow, after these things cooled down, they're starting to work. Okay, this is where it gets ugly. I did notice that the way I had this pan, cooking pan, sitting down on the ground, that all the gasoline and lighter fluid went down to the bottom. So that would obviously hurt these more because it concentrated down there. But I mean, I still threw a lot of gas. Ugh, I doubt that's gonna work. Yeah, that won't even turn on. See, that should be the five. Here's the five C. Yep, that ain't coming on. Here's the five S. Not a chance. Here's the iPhone 6. That one doesn't have a chance either. Here's the 6S. See, this one looks like it could turn on. Okay, so that whole bottom row. None of them will turn on. I think this has more to do with the fact that the gasoline went to the bottom than that the earlier generation phones are any more fireproof than these later generation ones because all of them, yeah, all of the phones on the top ended up surviving. So it's still a crazy test, guys. All right guys, so my channel just passed 25,000 subscribers. And to thank you guys for all the support and for watching my videos, I'm gonna go out and buy 25 either $10 iTunes cards or $10 Google Play cards. And if you're a winner, you can choose whichever one you want. So all you gotta do to win is be subscribed to this channel. Go follow me over on Twitter, at TechByZach, and retweet this tweet I just threw up on the screen. And I know it's not much, but as the channel grows, I plan to scale the giveaways as well. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Feel free to browse the channel and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.